This is the amazing Richie Jackson Skateboard Show, and it is comprised mostly of high-definition footage of me speaking. A small percentage of purists out there would rather watch VX1000 footage of me riding a skateboard, and I'm right there with you guys. It is for this reason that I'm opening the show with the vestiges of a bygone era. Right here is every last one of my unseen standard definition clips, and they will begin playing the second I utter the code word. <laughs> That will be $29.95. Please mash hard currency into your USB and CD drives as shown. Skateboarding evolves in almost exactly the same way as living organisms themselves. Each skateboard trick invented is an adaptation to the environment, a mutation to deal with a particular obstacle. As we all know, not every biological adaptation in nature is aesthetically pleasing to the human eye. I cite the goblin shark, budget's frog, and the proboscis monkey. In my pursuit of new adaptations in the world of skateboarding, I have created more than a few abominations myself. Today I'd like to release one previously deemed unfit for human eyes. Behold, my most grievous miscreation. If you can come up with a fitting name for that monstrosity, Please post it in the comments below. I'll select my favorite and announce it on the next show, allowing one unlucky person to have their name forever tied to an insignificant piece of skateboarding infamy. The time has now come for me to thank the people of the internet. I love you. 99% of the comments you leave and the messages you send are positive and profoundly uplifting. In fact, the good which comes my way is so disproportionate to the bad, I sometimes feel the voice of dissent has no chance to be heard at all. In the interest of freedom of speech, I have decided to champion one voice of dissent in particular. If you post on Heliclips as agoraphobic noseblunt, this is your lucky day. You left a comment on my interview with The Illusion, which I believe deserves to be heard by as many people as possible. Because of your anonymity, we've had to use some guesswork in depicting you, but rest assured, your message will be heard word for word exactly the way you wrote it. I, 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 I just can't stand some of the people in this industry, man. I, I'm sorry. I, I can't even watch this. Is this dude pro? F everyone's f***ing pro? Give me a funny hat and some bracelets. I'll pretend it's 1969. I'm, I'm sure he's all nice and fun to skate with and all of that, but this dude is trying way too hard. Twisting his creepy mustache up all trying hard. I, 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 I can't even stand looking at him. Grow up, dude. Shave your f***ing mouth and put down the drugs. Put on a clean, normal shirt and maybe somebody might take you seriously. Look in the mirror, dude. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> well, my friend, I hope I did my bit to level the playing field. I'd like to help you too. And I'm going to start by teaching you how to tray flip. 
it's time for Skateboarding Education Lesson School. Three sixty flips. The tray flip of skateboarding. Once a rarity, they are now as numerous as the hot pink trucks that cover our highways. There are a number of basic principles behind the trick. Principle number one. A common technique is to hold the board upright, setting the wheel into a spin, waiting exactly as long as it takes to come to a complete stop. 360 flips were invented by Mike Carroll and Ember Kebakobo, Ember Koba, Ember Koba, located near California. Principle number two. This animation will demonstrate principle number two, the second principle and third law of 360 flips. And there it is. T R E. Timber Rebound Extrapolation. If this is your first time hearing about timber rebound extrapolation, please abort the tutorial now. One of the reasons this trick has remained so popular over the years is the distinctive sound created when timber rebound extrapolation occurs. Sound waves permeate outwards as fractalized maple crystals hurtle into the black toposphere. Subtle differences in harmonics are detectable in poorly executed or otherwise doomed 360 flips. Principle number three. As of now, we are not able to say what 360 flip actually are. Possible scenarios include game, experiment, love, accident, crime, and money. It is through this equation that we arrive at our final answer. By multiplying the options together, we find that 360 flip equals Jellasim. Principle number 12. The future of 360 flips. Every year we edge closer and closer to the first 360 flip landed while rolling in reverse. Optimistic estimates predict reverse 360 flip to be completed before the end of the millennium. Congratulations, you have now completely mastered 360 flips. Well that is enough learning for today. It's time to lighten the mood in here, and we're going to do it by handing the stage over to one of the zaniest entertainers of our time, You'll probably remember him from TV sitcom Fives a Crowd. That's right, it's stand-up comedian Bruce Chandling. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on, you gotta be so sweet to me. Oh, you're very nice, you know. Uh, thank you, Ricky Jackson. I'm a big fan, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is everybody else who takes drugs. <laughs> It's too easy, pal. It's too easy, you know. He's got a, he's got a good fashion, a good sense of style too, right? I've never seen this. Before. You don't see many extreme sports athletes that look like this. You know, it's kind of like a Renaissance era Partridge Family pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm attacking. I'm coming after you today. You know, yeah, you you don't know you sign up when you hire Bruce Chandler. You know, I'm being very honest with you. But. Uh, I do like the extreme sports stuff. My nephew actually just got one of these trick bikes. You seen these? You seen these trick bikes? These things are, and, and he's he's good at it. You know, he does this. Uh, he does this one trick that's called uh, annoying the living daylights out of me as I'm trying to watch the game and eat chili dogs. <laughs> Can't live with them, and uh, you're not you're not legally allowed to abuse them. <laughs> What's that? You, you're you're you skateboard, right, Ricky? Is that right? You skateboarding stuff? I love that. I love skateboards. I love that one maneuver you guys do. What is that? You guys all do it. Everybody does it. It's it's a hard one though, right? It's the one where you uh, loiter outside of the liquor store and write graffiti on the sidewalk. How do you win? Here. 
Nobody knows? You don't know? I'm kidding. You guys gotta relax. You know, I'm not, I'm not from the world of, you know, uh, you know, you know, jumping off buildings and, uh, you know, uh, putting it, you're strapping into my, my skate boots, okay? I don't know anything about that, you know? I never, I never done a, you know, what, what, what is this, a jolly? I never done any of those. Uh, what I have done is, uh, you know, actually contributed to American society. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm a daredevil myself, though. People think, uh, you know, he's, he's, just a, he's just a guy, you know. He's not that daring, he's not extreme. I'm, I am extreme. I mean, just yesterday, I tried the egg salad sandwich at Lavicchio's. <gasps> oh, my God. Well, thank you so much, Ricky. Uh, it has been great. Uh, you guys are the best. Keep on extreming, of course. Uh, I love, I love everything you guys do. And uh, you know, uh, you know w watch out for those ramps. Thank you so much. Guys. Take care. Boost you. My apologies for that off-color joke at the end there. Um, of course, I like to laugh. But I agree that there's some things that's probably not a good idea to make fun of, so apologies to anyone that uh, found that offensive. We should probably uh, cut the show right there. Uh, might. See you next time. Good night for now. The Amazing Richie Jackson Skateboard Show was a product of its environment. Given that the universe was created by an omnipotent deity, all events on the show are also part of his divine plan, and neither Richie Jackson nor Network A are responsible for any of the content contained within. Please direct any complaints about the show to whichever one of the 2,870 gods you happen to believe in.